The idea in having the Wi-Fi range extender is to extend your Wi-Fi signal around your house, allowing you to reach areas of the house where there is weak signal or no signal. This is a device you would plug into a power socket halfway between where the router is and the area that you're trying to reach. So you'd have it in a halfway point. So then it receives the signal and then pushes the signal on, reaching an area of the house where there is no signal or very weak signal. There are three methods to setting up the TP-Link to your router. You can either press the WPS button on your router and press the button on the front of the TP-Link unit. Or the second method is to download the app, which I find is the easiest way. You can see it on your screen, on your phone. Download the app and follow the instructions, which I'll show you. The other option is to go onto your PC or laptop and you can go on the web browser and go on the website and look for the TP-Link that way if you prefer doing it that way. Depends on your preference. First set up with the TP-Link plugged in close to the router and then relocate. Placing the TP-Link halfway between the router and the location you're looking to increase the Wi-Fi signal. We're now going to use method 2 using the app. Plug in the TP-Link unit into a plug socket near the router. Go onto your settings and go onto your Wi-Fi and select the TP-Link extender. Go onto your app store and download the Tether app. The app will then search for your TP-Link device. Then select the device found. Create a new password for the TP-Link and fill that in twice. Now select your Wi-Fi router in your house, which it will then extend. Put in the password to your Wi-Fi router. This will now apply the settings that you've created. Here I'm showing you the different options you have on the app. Once powered on, you'll see the two lights come up and then the rest of the lights on the right hand side will be the signal. Because I have it close to the router, you have all lights lit up on the front of this TP-Link. The aim is to have this unit as close as we can to the area of the house that has less signal but also maintaining a strong signal from the router. Now let's unplug this and move this to another location a bit further away from the router on another level. The lights on the front of the TP link will indicate your Wi-Fi strength. You're looking for between three or more lights on the front of the TP link. If it's down to just one light, it's quite a weak signal. You move it more to a middle point closer to the router. Allow the TP link to power up and give it a minute to connect to the router and then it will show you on the right hand side the signal. The lights that come up show the strength of the signal from the router to the TP link itself. The TP link is receiving a Wi Fi signal from the router and then pushing out the signal, looking to reach further distance to a location where there is no Wi Fi or low Wi Fi signal. We're now looking to move the TP link a further location away from the router to see what the signal is like. So we go down two flights of stairs to the ground floor now and see how the signal is. You'll notice I have another TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. That is used by traveling the Wi-Fi signal through the power cables of your house. So it's a power line Wi-Fi extender. If you want to see a video on that, 
and check out some of my other videos and watch that one. Um, it's slightly more expensive than this one. Um, the TP-Link that's used the power lines is around £35. And this TP-Link that just extends the Wi-Fi signal without the power lines, it's around £20. Check out the descriptions below. I'll leave the links to these products as well as the other video on the power line TP-Link extender if you wanted to check that one out. So the TP-Link we're after is the one that shows your name of your router and then a E XT at the end. Select that one and that will be the signal coming from the Wi-Fi um, TP-Link extender. Now I can see that the signal has dropped to only one bar so the signal is very weak so we can see that we've taken this TP-Link too far away from the router and need to move it a bit closer. We're looking to have three or five lights for the best signal we're looking to move the TP-Link far enough away from the router where we still have between three and five lights on the unit and reach other areas of the house where there's weak signal. Once you have the TP-Link extender at a halfway point, select the Wi-Fi router with the EXT at the end and double check in the area where you had low signal and just make sure that you now have a stronger signal connection in that area. If you're having any issues setting up, press the reset button at the bottom of the unit. Feel free to ask any questions you have on the TP link, whether it's this one or the power extender, and subscribe for more.